Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today we're checking out a brand of mezcal that maybe you've seen, maybe you've seen, maybe you've seen, maybe you haven't, all right? However, this is a mezcal We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, we are checking out the brand El Recuerdo Mezcal. Yes, El Recuerdo Mezcal. This is a Hoven Mezcal, um, unaged, unaged, no aging what, whatsoever, 100% uh, Espadín. And if you did know or not, this is actually a celebrity Mezcal. But can we say, I, I don't know, your decision. This Mezcal, uh, whether you want to call it celebrity or not, it does have the backing of a UFC fighter. Yes, there is a UFC fighter. If you, anybody out there is into uh, mixed martial arts, UFC, stuff like that, there is a fighter uh, named Jorge Masvidal. Jorge Masvidal, uh, shout out from Miami. All right, all right. Home team, South Florida. Uh, from Miami, he actually, this is his mezcal, all right? Um, checking it out, this is already kind of like... A, quarter drink. <laughs> a friend of mine brought this over and said, hey man, got this new mezcal. Let's try it out. I've seen it. Um, I have seen it in stores. I have had tastings in stores as well. Um, some of the local liquor stores here. Again, this is uh, the, the guy from UFC. You know, it's his brand. He is from Miami. So this is all over Miami. Uh, if you have seen it anywhere else, I would be very curious. Drop it down in the comments below. City, state, where did you find this? But this is born and raised, homebred, right? I mean, it's coming from Oaxaca, but the owner is from Miami. And um, yeah, I, I, I've had it in stores. And I'll be honest with you, it was never anything that really was like, wow, or like really like blew me away. It was just like, okay, all right. So I'm curious, you know, we're going to sit and really give it the taste test today, really give it the agave talk experience, try it out in our glasses and, uh, you know, really sit down with it here in the studio and try to process some of those notes, some of those tastes and see if El Recuerdo Mezcal is for you. So taking a look at the bottle, El Recuerdo, Recuerdo in Spanish means memory, right? El Recuerdo Mezcal, um, I really want to highlight taking a look at this, that this is just mezcal now if you've watched any of my other videos i have gone into depth and broken down the three different categories of mezcal you have mezcal you have mezcal artisanal and then you have mezcal ancestral right so the very bottom of the bottom mezcal then you go up into artisanal and then you go up to ancestral the top of the top right the different production methods so that very top the ancestral is going to have really traditionally really handcrafted kind of high quality stuff. Whereas then way down on the bottom, just regular mezcal is just mezcal, right? They might be using, uh, it's going to be the most industrial of the three. They're going to be using equipment such as autoclaves and diffusers. And if you are from the tequila world, you know, diffusers say no to diffusers, right? Um, you're going to get a really kind of watered down industrial tasting product. Well, with just regular mezcal, it's along the same lines, to be honest. So, you know, trying this in store, I share that I have tried this at many liquor stores here and there. Um, this is home raised Miami. So a lot of liquor stores do have this and this is something they will push on to you. And I want to say, I think it's maybe $30, $40 for the bottle. So again, somebody really wanting to come in and try something that's not going to break the bank, something new. The, the store themselves are pushing it. Hey, you ever tried mezcal? Try this, try this, try this. Is this something that's really a great representation of it? Um, if you are a mezcal drinker, again, you know of those three categories. This is the bottom of the bottom. It's just mezcal, right? Um, so I'm about to open this up. Like I said, I had, you know, this bottle brought over to me today and I said, man, instead of just making some drinks with this, let me shoot a review real quick because I do not have a review of this. Again, I've only tried it in store uh, and it never really prompted me to buy a bottle, um, which is why I don't have it at the house. But hey, I have it here right now. I said, let me let me shoot that uh, review and see what it is. So it says on the back, Recuerdo Mezcal is the essence of a vibrant, colorful Oaxaca. 
It's attitude, character, and pride in a bottle. Interesting. So again, uh, this UFC fighter, hey, obviously got some money, went down to Oaxaca, said, hey, I want to make my own brand, and here it is. Again, I'd be curious if you ever had this. I'd love to hear your comments down below because we are about to check this out. Let your bottles pop. Oh, oh, that's tight. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just a regular plastic top. This is coming in at 40%, all right? And if you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk, all right? Always appreciate you being here with us. This is a Hoven, so this is just no aging whatsoever. Even looking at the legs and tears, the legs and tears on that, um, non-existent. It just, it really goes away very quickly on that bottle. Let me get that out of the way and zoom this in on the front. There you go. Just moving that around. Yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing to it. This is not sticking around whatsoever. I uh, wonder how that's going to do on the mouthfeel, but let's take a sniff. So light, extremely light in smell, not a lot of depth going on. Um, this is, again, it's that industrial uh, mezcal. It's just mezcal. It's not artisanal. It's not ancestral. Um, it's very industrial. And with industrialized production methods, autoclaves, diffusers, things like that, you're not going to get a really... Um, a really like, like in depth kind of smell and or flavor. It just, it is what it is. I haven't even tried this yet, but like I said, knowing production methods, it's just going to kind of be like, okay, eh, you know, not a lot going on. Um, I could tell already too, just from the, uh, looking at the, you know, the legs and tears, it's not really much going on in the cup as well. And definitely on the nose, it's it's kind of, if you've ever had a diffuser tequila, um, a telltale sign for me, it's just kind of got that, um, like a nail polish, nail polish remover kind of smell. This is along the lines of that. It doesn't smell, you're not getting a whole lot of espadine. This is a 100% agave espadine. But again, like 100% uh, tequila, blue Weber tequila made with a diffuser, you're not going to get a lot of agave flavor. Uh, there is some smoke there for sure. There is some espadine, but overall, it's just more of a, like a nail polish, nail polish remover kind of smell. Uh, there is pepper going on. They do say um, there is, you know, some of that smokiness is there. It's just very light. They are saying that they're using uh, river rocks uh, to help bake this, right? They're using certified pine and oak woods, but just overall on the smell, not a lot going on. Let's take a sip. Cheers. Mm -mm. Okay. Like I was describing earlier, um, not a lot of depth, not a lot going on. Um, as you saw with the legs and tears, it's just kind of watery in the mouth. Um, not what you're smelling in the cup, it translates directly to the taste. The smoke, it's just kind of there and it's kind of there in taste. A lot of black pepper going on. Um, you're getting a little bit more espadine in the flavor than you are in the nose. Uh, but overall, it's just kind of light all around, extremely light, uh, really not a lot of flavor, not a lot of depth in this whatsoever. Let me take another sip. Yeah. I mean, if you're mixing up some cocktails and you kind of want that mezcal flavor, but don't want to break the bank, hey, this might be for you. Like I said, I want to say I've seen it for about $30, $40, but even in that price range, $30 or $40, there are some pretty solid offerings um, that then even get into that core category of um, artisanal, right? I, I can't think of any ancestral mezcals that are in that $30, $40 range, but I want to say there are some artisanal categories 
that are again that step up from just a regular mezcal that are the same price range so mm, that's it, it's a tough call you know um I know anytime I did see this in a store and it was pushed on to me, they did bring up the fact that, hey, it's a UFC fighters, uh, mezcal, this and that. Okay, great. What does it taste like? That's what I'm worried about, right? And just overall, this is just uh, not very flavorful and not very aromatic. And it's just kind of really, uh, just kind of basic and, and it just goes away really quick, both the smell and the flavor. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, I would love to hear if you've ever had this before, please drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Uh, but other than that, let me take this last sip. Mm -mm -mm. And um, yeah, no, no. I mean, even that last sip, it's been sitting there for a minute. It's just, it's just the flavor is just, it's like not existing. I don't know. I love my mezcals. You guys know we love minerals, right? I love minerals. I love earth. I love smoke. I love tasting agave, right? And especially in a Hoven, you got to get that, that agave flavor in there. Espadín has a flavor. Where is it? And it just, it's being masked by the production methods of just being a mezcal for sure. Well, that's it. I appreciate you being here. If you have not done so already, hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at agave talk. All right. Thank you for being here, everybody, and take care.